when Britain blew off a prison roof in World War II Operation Jericho. Britain's RAF took a daring mission deep inside occupied France to save hundreds of French resistance fighters. It is a French prison in the town of Amiens. The prison held some of the most dangerous fugitives as per Nazi Germany ideology. A swarm of mosquito bombers flew low over the prison and bombed the prison wall. The inmates of the prison, mostly French resistance members, escaped from a death sentence. Historians still argue on the motive of the mission and who initiated it. It was Operation Jericho. French Resistance After France fell to Germany, some French citizens formed resistance groups and waged guerrilla warfare against the occupiers. The Nazi high command put the German army in France always on high alert to tackle the saboteurs. Nazi SS officers like Klaus Barbie, also called the Butcher of Lyon, tortured many of the French resistance fighters to death. The Special Operation Executive, commonly called SOE, was a British intelligence unit that supported the French resistance fighters. The SOE dropped arms, ammunition, and money needed for the resistance group. The SOE trained spies like Nancy Wake, Nor Inayat Khan, etc. and dropped them inside France. These spies helped coordinate the resistance movement and report back to SOE the French resistance's needs. The Nazi government crushed the French resistance with an iron fist and sent any French resistance fighter caught to a hard labor prison. French resistance fighters were certain to face a death sentence in these prisons. One such prison was Amiens prison, where the Nazi government locked up thousands of French resistance fighters. British intelligence received reports that on 18th of February 1944, several inmates were supposed to be executed by the Nazis. A land operation to save them was highly impossible because Amiens is located deep inside France. The Royal Air Force RAF, took up the job of saving the doomed French resistance fighters. The attack. RAF commanders selected Mosquitoes the mission. They planned the attack for lunchtime as German officers will be in the mess hall, and an attack on it will neutralize the German defense. The initial date for the mission was 16th of February 1944, but due to poor weather, it was postponed. Lousy weather prevailed, but the RAF decided to continue the attack as the Germans will execute the French resistance fighters the next day. 12 mosquitoes and 9 bombers flew from RAF bases in Britain. The mission included a cameraman to film the entire event. Once entering France, the mosquitoes flew below the range of German radar. The mission leader was Percy Charles Picard. Picard was a veteran of the Bruneval raid Operation Biting, a British operation to retrieve a German radar on the French coast. The first wave hit the eastern wall of the prison and circled. The second wave hit a nearby railway station. The railway station was a junction point for German reinforcement. Bombing the railway station delayed German reinforcements, sent to secure the prison. The third wave hit the northern wall of the prison. The mosquitoes and bombers faced heavy anti-aircraft fire from the German defenses. The commanding officer Picard waited for the smoke to clear to see prisoners escape. After visual confirmation, he left the prison, but it was too late. A German fighter shot Picard's mosquito down and killed him and his navigator. Picard received a posthumous Distinguished Service Order from the King for his action in Operation Jericho. Aftermath As the RAF had damaged the railway station, the prisoners had two hours of lead time before German reinforcements arrived. The Germans were able to recapture 185 prisoners of the 255 prisoners who escaped. The escaped French resistance fighters regrouped and continued their fight against Germany. The French resistance played a crucial role in the follow-up to the D-Day landing. They provided vital information to Britain on the German defenses in the Atlantic and German troops positions on D-Day itself. 
French resistance fighters blew up important bridges, which delayed German reinforcements heading to the Normandy beaches. French resistance fighters fought independently and liberated many French cities ahead of Allied advancement. Whether the mission was a success was debated among British intelligence and also who ordered the mission. The RAF credited the SOE while the SOE gave credit to Britain's Foreign Intelligence Service, MI6. Whatever be the case, a mission deep inside enemy territory to save resistance fighters is a daring feat performed by RAF pilots and crew.